pi is 2.3 eV for beryllium it's phi is 3.90 eV and for mercury phi is 4.5 eV light of wavelength 400 nanometers is incident on each of these metals which of these metals exhibit the photoelectric electric effect If electrons are to be emitted, remember that the photon will give its energy to the electron if, that is, the electron will take, will absorb the photon, will take the energy of the photon. If it's sufficient for the electron to get out of the metal, to get out of the metal, Okay, requires an energy equal to the binding energy. And the binding energy of the electron to the surface is the work function. So this means that the energy of the photon must exceed the work function. If it's less than the work function, it will not be taken by the electron. If it if it's equal to or if it exceeds the work function, then the photon will be absorbed by the electron. So to figure out which of these, if which of them will exhibit a photoelectric effect, I need to calculate the energy of the photon. So what is the energy? I have the photon of wavelength 400 nanometers. So what is the energy of the photon? E is H, F. F is a frequency. And the frequency is the speed divided by the wavelength. So it's H, C over lambda. So lambda, so we're given lambda and we know H, we know C. So E for the photon, H C over lambda. Now H is six point okay, we can do this calculation. In fact, H C is is a number that occurs very often that is expressed normally in some convenient unit, which is electron volts nanometer. So HC is 1,240 electron volt times nanometer divided by lambda. Now, to see how this comes about, let's do the calculation here. What is HC? H is 6.626 or 63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule second. And what is C? It's 2.998. So let's just take it as times 10 to the 8. So let's take it as 3 times 10 to the 8 meter over second. So the second cancels, and I'm left with joules meter. Now, so 10 to the 8 10 to the minus 34, that's 10 to the minus 26. So you get 6.626 times 10 to the minus 26 joule meter. Now I want to convert this to electron volts meter. Every electron volt, 1 eV, One eV. Remember that the electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, and the coulomb times volt is joule. So this is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So here I have it in joules. To get it in electron volts, I should divide by 
1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules per electron volt. That is, there are so many joules in one electron volt. So the joules, joules will cancel, and this comes EV meter. So you get 6.26 times 3. We forgot the 3 here. 3 times that. So you get 3 times 6.626, that's almost 20. Almost 20. A little bit less than 20. Over 1.6, that's it comes out to be 12.4. So this is about 12.4. And I have 10 to the minus 26, 10 to the minus 19, that's 10 to the minus 7. Electron volts times meter. Now, the meter is 10 to the 9 nanometers. So, this is 12.4 times 10 to the minus 7 times 10 to the 9. So, I replaced the meter by 10 to the 9 nanometers. So, electron volt nanometer. And this is 10 to the 2 times 12.4, so this is 1,240 electron volt nanometers. This is HC. Divided by lambda, which is 400 nanometers. So that gives me the answer in electron volts. Right, the nanometers cancel. So, one thousand, so this is 3.1 electron volts. So the energy of this photon is 3.1 electron volts. So looking at Hg, it cannot no photoelectric effect because the energy of the photon is less than the work function. For beryllium, same thing, no photoelectric effect because the energy of the photon is less than the work function. For lithium, it's okay. Because the energy of the photon is greater than the work function. So for the electric effect, only for lithium here. That's all. So for lithium now, which exhibits the photoelectric effect, what is the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectrons? In each case, of course, in the other cases, there is no photoelectric effect. So only in the case of lithium, we have the photoelectric effect. What is the maximum kinetic energy? We know that K max is H F. That is the energy of the photon minus work function. H F is just the energy of photon. The energy of the photon minus the work function. The energy of the photon, HF, is 3.1 eV. So this is 3.1 eV, and this is 2.3 eV. So the answer is 0 0.8 eV. This is the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted or of the photoelectrons.